Tara. Ancient inauguration site and seat of the High Kings of Ireland. An archaeological site of world importance. A huge interlinked complex which stretches for miles. The nearby bend of the Boyne is classified a UNESCO World Heritage Site, which gives the merest hint of the immense cultural and archaeological value of the area. Tara has been at the heart of social, political and religious life in Ireland for over 4,000 years. However, the green light has been given to the construction of a four-lane motorway bisecting the Tara Screen Valley. The Tara Screen Valley has never been properly excavated, but according to estimates it contains at least 141 monuments. The construction of the M3 threatens to destroy a fragile and irreplaceable landscape, holding innumerable historical treasures. How could such a thing happen? In 2004, former Minister for the Environment, Heritage and Local Government, Martin Cullen, now Minister for Transport, introduced the National Monuments Amendment Act. This act abolished DUCAS, the Heritage Service, an organisation set up to protect archaeological sites from destruction. The Act also gave the Minister unprecedented power to order the wholesale demolition of any monument if he judged it to be in the national interest. However, there is nothing in the Act which defines the national interest. In essence, the Act gives the Minister the power to destroy any national monument he chooses for any reason. This means that if the state wants to build a road through a heritage site, it can. Whose interest does this serve? The Irish commuters or that of the NRA? The National Roads Authority is the Irish state road planning body, and it has been instrumental in the state's campaign to destroy archaeological sites. It has consistently acted to advance the interests of the private building sector. One of their targets, Carrick Mines Castle. Carrick Mines Castle is a medieval complex which, no doubt from sheer coincidence, lay in the path of the planned extension to the M50 motorway. And, as is always the case in Ireland, when the construction industry says jump, the state asks how high. A recent Supreme Court decision has given the go-ahead to the destruction of Carrick Mines, in the national interest. This decision has left Tara Screen in critical danger. The state has a constitutional obligation to protect heritage, as established by Chief Justice Chiarol O'Dolly in the Supreme Court case Tormey v. Commissioner for Public Works, 1972. Unless a legal challenge is made to the National Monuments Act on these grounds, any national monument could face the same fate as Carrick Mines. Minister Cullen could have avoided international outrage in both these cases, simply by agreeing to change the route of the roads to avoid sensitive heritage sites. Instead, he chose to change the law, making the destruction of heritage sites legal. In doing so, he acts not in the best interest of the public, but for private business, as represented by the NRA. We cannot allow Tara to be destroyed like Carrick Mines, like countless other Irish monuments which have been demolished while the state looked on. We could face a future where the only heritage we bequeath will be a countryside flattened and scarred by expensive and unnecessary roads and urban sprawl. In Ireland we have a culture which is among the richest and most ancient in the world. Are we going to stand by while it is destroyed so that speculators and profiteers can grow even wealthier? 